Today, I will be trying out KZ Fighting Method or KFM. This is a style that I found to be very interesting, and I hope you guys will enjoy the video today. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Kevin Lee. So today I have a special guest, Seafood Alan Baker. And Seafood Alan has, I don't know, very extensive background in many, many, many different martial arts. Can you, can you talk about a little bit about yourself? I've uh, been in the martial arts for a little over 43 years. I've uh, been doing professional martial arts since 1990. Wow. Uh, ran several academies in that amount of time. It's impressive. All right, so what can you show me? Okay, well, one of the things that drew me to... Uh, KFM, or mm -hmm. Keezy Fighting Method, was the way they use shielding to okay. protect, them, protect their heads. Um, obviously, lots of different martial arts will use this methodology in their own way. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things I found about Keezy is that they eventually, they train it to the point where it becomes more of a living thing instead of just a technique. Okay. Um, you know, the difference would be Here's a specific shape you can use in this situation. Mm -hmm. um, they hope to train it to the point where it's more reactionary. Okay. And it can mutate on demand. So mm. they can use it in different situations. That's interesting. That's cool. And for instance, I use it in uh, different environments like inside of cars, against walls, corners. Um, and, you know, they train a lot of it with multiple opponent options as well. Mm. And so, how do you, so can you show us like the framing? The, what do you call this frame? Uh, I refer to it as shielding. Shielding. Sorry, Some shielding. systems will call it framing. Okay. Um, in the Keezy, they refer to it as the pensador or the, the thinking man. Okay. There's many different ways to do it. Generally, when uh, I teach the basics, it just kind of looks like this. Imagine hooking your hand there mm -hmm. and just placing them on your head. Okay. Like that. Obviously, it can be uh, moved around depending on what you're dealing with, what you're okay. receiving from the environment, oh. uh, whether it is a punch, you know, somebody putting you into the wall slamming you into the side of a car and you have to use it to deal with that situation. So how would you deal with scenarios like this against an attacker with the KC fighting method? Um, well, uh, generally what they start out with is just dealing with strikes. Okay. Um, and uh, the system will do it defensively and offensively. Oh, interesting. So uh, a, a defensive answer to that would be like off of a strike. If you throw, you know, I want to be able to, to form the shape to oh, deal with the punch. Uh huh. And, I, you know, I'm hoping to, to try to catch oh. the strike um, on the, the shape uh -huh. in order to protect my head. Okay. But again, this may be more training. Uh, um, mm -hmm. The reality is I'm probably not going to stand here and receive the punch. Correct. But, I, you know, I have to be able to defend myself if I'm in a situation where I cannot Are you move. using the form or the elbow? Uh, you use both. Okay. Um, you know, my goal is to try to um, absorb or destroy the attack as much as possible. Oh, okay. And, and, you know, in all martial arts, you have basically three times that mm -hmm. you train on. I'm yes. either going to be behind time, on time, Before or time. I'm going to be ahead of time. Mm -hmm. This is no different. And so if, if you kick off the punch and I'm behind time, then it's probably going to be some sort of block. Ah. If, if I'm fortunate enough to read your intentions mm -hmm. and see that you're getting ready to throw the punch, oh. I may <laughs> immediately drive forward. Oh. And, and I like to say commonly, I want to violently occupy this space uh, and, and destroy everything on the way in. So you, the shortest distance between us is center line. Right. So you basically run straight through. Correct. So if, if I can read the intent uh -huh. to the point where I can get ahead of time, my job is just to go in and destroy whatever's in front of me. Okay. If I'm a little late, then uh -huh. then shielding becomes blocking. Ah. So it's, a, it's just back back. It's, it's a back out. You block, but ideally you want to run through the line. Yeah. My my goal is just to destroy what's in front of me. Okay. Now, how would you attack in that position? Uh. Well, the same thing. And, uh -huh. and you know, generally it's going to come out of what we have here. This is a social exchange. We're close enough. We're having a talk mm -hmm. and uh, you may not necessarily like what I have to say, which mm -hmm. starts to elevate intention. Mm -hmm. And then we will end up kicking it off. The same okay. thing if I want to attack you with the shape. <coughs> so it may just look like that. Wow. So I may I do the for, I form uh -huh. the same shape. I'm just going to do it in more aggressive, um, more of an attacking flavor. All right. So in Kesey, where where is your primary target for attacks? Um, it can vary depending on the situation. Um, okay. Like right now, we're doing it in an open space. Uh huh. But we would also want to train it in multiple different environments, like pinned against the wall, 
uh, down against the wall on the ground, okay. in between the vehicles, that sort of thing. Um, KFM trains a lot in this scenario, mm. outside, outside. Uh, because that's where it's going to happen. Okay. So that can determine the target areas. In open space, for me, I like to attack the torso because mm. it sets up follow-up options and it's harder to move this. If I'm attacking your head, generally I can you've move. got uh, some reaction from the nervous system mm -hmm. that I have to deal with there. If I attack the body, it's a generally a little harder for you to move. So if I come in with that attack, you notice that I get a, a taco effect from mm -hmm. the body, which opens up the chin for various types of options oh, that I can do later. Nice. Right. That's cool. Right. The stepping on the shoes is cool. That's one of the principles of the system is everything's an attack. Ah. If I take a step uh -huh. for no reason, then I need to go back and study the step and understand, you know, how, how do I attack? How do I destroy in a body with every move? And that's, it's one of the uh, environments that they will study in quite often is, I don't want any wasted movement, no movement that isn't some sort of an attack. So you just, you don't move because you need, well, you want to move. You're moving because every time you move, it is an attack. Correct. It's, it's uh, common uh, to hear the founder say, uh, everything destroys the opponent. Oh, I don't know if you guys can feel that intention. I felt it. <laughs> Scary. Okay. So, in the sense of an attack, you say body would be the primary target. Do you guys punch? Yes. And how would you do your, do your punches? Uh, you know, it's very similar. They just come out of this shape. Uh huh. You know, so uh, you know they'll practice loading. Oh, nice. And uh, punching from the shielding. Mm. Um, the only drawback to that is, uh, in order to punch you, I have to open a door, okay. uh, which opens up the this. computer center. Ah. Uh, you know, like in all martial arts, they'll have some sort of guard. Guard, yep. We look at it the same way in KFM. This is just doors. Mm. Of course, they're open right now. Correct. So if I were to ram attack this structure, it would not stand up to it mm. too well. If you, you know, made more of a frame, oh. that would stand up to the pressure b better. Okay. So if you open the frame in order to throw the punch, oh. you, 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 you open up the house to attack. Oh. So my goal is to destroy or move these out of the way uh -huh. so that I can get to the computer center, center and shut down what's driving the whole did machine. Did you guys see that headbutt? Did you, did you like pair it, hammer and headbutt me? Right, yeah. That's crazy. Like we said earlier, every part of the body is a weapon. Shoulder? Correct. Oh, wow. So how would you use that against the wall? Because uh, primary, we'll talk about, if I'm against the wall, this is gonna be terrible, by the way, because my hand is already like here. Most people do this, they just kind of shield up. How would you deal with that? Um, well, it's actually very common to bring your hands up. Um, you uh -huh. know, if you place someone in a, a hostile situation, maybe against several opponents, mm -hmm. the chances of them in, ending in a fetal position are pretty common. Mm -hmm. The human body forms Shoes that up. shape. Um, and this is just half of that shape. If I were uh -huh. to bring my feet up, uh -huh. I'd be forming a fetal position. So as far as being on the wall, uh, one of the first things you have to do is study the mechanics of the wall. Okay. You know, it's like uh, martial arts that study open space, which mm -hmm. we all do. Mm -hmm. I understand that there's certain mechanics I can create here. Correct. So if I'm pinned against the wall, if you pin me against that wall, my goal, uh, especially under chaos, is most of the time I, I try to come off the wall mm. because that's what I know. Yes. But if I can look at the mechanics of this structure, oh, 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 that's I can so start scary. to use the wall oh. to be able to fight. So, I so wanna, you're so I, connected. I, correct. I want to know how to navigate the wall in order oh, to start God. to set up these oh, ideas. What? Right. <laughs> So this this is becomes more my friend the environment. Huh. You know, I want to be able to study the environment. Are you squatting a lot in this position? Uh, yes, you'll study standing, squatting, because I feel like when you're here, you're seated. doing this a lot. Correct. And what's the reason doing this versus standing? You can do either. Oh, you can do either. Okay. Yeah. Um, you will study each position. Okay. So, you know, even we'll do some kneeling work, we'll do some uh, seated work against the wall. Oh, and so it forces you to find options mm -hmm. in positions that aren't normally studied. Correct. Because right. that out of position. Out of position. Because that alone right there is crazy. Right? Because the moment I pin to you, you're using that as a mechanical system. All right. What do you, uh, so that hand is using for. Oh, God. So scary. 
So you kind of pare it down in a strike. Right, it's center. the same structure that we spoke about earlier. Mm. And whether it's a pin, I've got to defend myself. I can start to use it to oh, open up oh. the door and attack the body. Oh. And I want to be able to <laughs> use, oh, my goodness. use the wall. Did you just bounce off his... Correct. Holy crap. Which is part of the mechanics is instead of stepping away uh -huh. to go to what's familiar, you want to study the mechanics of the position and how you can use it. Oh. Just like we do in open space. How do I use it to move? Uh -huh. How do I use it to create destructive force? And we want to do this so it's, it becomes home. Like if you slam me against the wall, in my mind, I don't want to feel out of place. Similar to what we talked about earlier, you take a jujitsu guy down to the ground. It it's home, home for him, mm. right? You're putting the shark in the water. So this will basically put you in the water. Correct. If you study the mechanics and you spend time mm -hmm. dealing with out of position uh, training, uh -huh. it's not un unusual to you. So what would you say if I'm here, what was your first position that you did? Can we break that down real quick? Generally, in, uh -huh. in this system, they'll form some sort of shielding to protect myself because you're going to be swinging at me. Correct. Be, oh, right. my God. Right. And I'm, I'm probably... <laughs> Give me a little warning next time. <laughs> I'm probably not going to wait for the punch. Like we said earlier, oh. if I stay here and I try to wait. block, mm -hmm. eventually something's going to get in. So, Correct. you know, uh, violent force. And all you do is you make a frame and you run forward. Right. Yeah. It's, I it's, felt just, it's referred to as a ram attack or a ram pence attack. attack. Right. Wow. That's crazy. And so your, your idea of objection is always create a frame and then run to basically run forward to give Right, or bounce impact. off of the structure. What do you mean bounce off of the structure? I, I, well, like earlier, I can... Oh my gosh. I can create energy or I could use uh, <laughs> the lower right. I'm going to stay so far away because that's crazy. Right. The amount of speed from there, that's, that's insane. Because it's not like you're just stepping off. You actually bounce off the energy off the wall. Right. And that's the point of studying uh, surface engagement and mm -hmm. uh, the mechanics involved with it. The more familiar mm -hmm. you are with it, yeah. you're able to do things that most people who don't study it that's very true. are able to do. Right? Uh -huh. Same thing with jujitsu, mm -hmm. uh, trapping in yeah. Wing Chun. Yeah. The more you study it, the more you're familiar with that environment. Mm. Uh, in this system, we want to get familiar with this environment, regardless oh, of where I am, right? I don't want to fight in this position. To, I want to be able to navigate it and use it to produce destructive force. Mm. And would you say in that case, because your hand is over here, elbow would be more efficient? Well, you know, elbows are pretty powerful tools. I agree. And, uh, you know, I tend to use weaponry out of this structure because, uh, like we mentioned earlier, I don't uh -huh. necessarily want to open the house to, yes. allow, to allow you to come in. Uh -huh. And I prefer these weapons because, um, you know, I need these digits to text later. <laughs> so uh, I don't want so to keep them intact. You know, so you're not necessarily trying to punch. Right. It's easier to damage your hand, as you know. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty common for fighters yes. to damage their hands, Very even easy pro to... fighters. Yes. So, um, you know, they're fragile. Yep. Unless you train them, there are some systems that train them. Oh, wow. But uh, I don't want to take the risk on the street so much uh -huh. because I, I don't want to. I may need them. I mm -hmm. need to articulate them later to start a car, open a door. Yeah. And, Makes a lot of right. sense to it. That's cool. Hey guys, if you want to see more crazy KFM drills, be sure to check out my members only video. They are available on my membership page. Thank you. Well, thank you so much, sir. That's a lot of stuff. And if you guys are interested in training with uh, Seafood Alan Baker, I'm going to leave his uh, uh, information down below in the description box. Okay, guys? Uh, thank you, guys. I'll see you guys. Thanks, guys. Next week.